recognized for two minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate the, uh, the great work that this chairman does on behalf of veterans. He's a true friend and has uh, done so much for so many veterans, and I appreciate that. And Mr. Chairman, I, I just want you to know that I went to college on the GI Bill, and I voted for the, the post-9-11 GI Bill. Uh, with my experience uh, in the GI Bill and in school and what it did for me uh, in mind. And I did so to ensure that all veterans would have the same access to this great educational opportunity that I had. Unfortunately, uh, California veterans are being denied this important chance to get the college education so that they can have a better future. According to the Department of Veterans Administration, veterans living in California are entitled to zero dollars toward their private tuition bill simply because California charges fees, not tuition, to uh, attend college. So because zero tuition is charged in California, according to the VA's tortured logic, zero tuition can be paid to veterans seeking to attend private schools in California. This simple somatic difference means that nearly 5,000 Iraq and Afghanistan veterans residing in California, veterans who served our nation honorably, are not eligible to receive financial assistance to attend the college of their choice. This is unlike every other Iraq and Afghanistan veteran in the other 49 states. My California colleagues and I sent a letter to the VA requesting the department fix this issue administratively. Six weeks later, six weeks later, they sent a two-paragraph response <coughs> denying, denying our request. This is not fair to our veterans, and Congress should not stand by as these brave men and women are denied the benefits they have earned. I'd now like to uh, yield to my colleague from California, uh, Mr. McKenna.